This is the automation zone. In today's tutorial, we will learn what is packing and unpacking of arguments in a function. In the given example, I have a function called add numbers which has got two parameters num1 and num2. I am then simply going ahead and printing the addition of both of my numbers. Now this is pretty simple because I am passing in only two arguments which is matching the number of parameters of my function. Now this is going to get very complicated in case the number of arguments which I'm passing was not fixed. What if sometimes I would add three numbers and sometimes four? In this scenario, I would have to constantly make changes to the parameters of my function. To solve this issue, Python gives you a technique such that regardless of the number of arguments which are passing to the function, you only need, you only need one parameter to handle all of your arguments. This technique is called as packing in Python. In order to perform packing, you have to convert your parameter into a tuple. To do that, you simply have to put a star before your parameter. Now, whenever you call your particular function, all of your arguments will be converted or packed into a tuple and then it will be assigned to the parameter called num. Let's verify this. Let me just go ahead and print num. And if you see the output, it is going to be a tuple. Make a quick note, if you had two parameters, one being a normal parameter and the other going to be a packed parameter, in this case, your very first argument is assigned to the first parameter and the rest of the arguments will be assigned uh, or will be packed and then will be assigned as a tuple to your special packed parameter. Let me go ahead and print both the values to verify this. So I'm printing num1 as well as num. And when you see the output, you will see the first parameter will be put in num1, which is 10, and the rest three are going to be packed into a tuple and is printed out below. Let us now go ahead and complete our program. Let me remove this unwanted code here as well as our extra argument called num1. Now num here is a tuple, so I can use a function called sum on my tuple. Inside the function, you put the tuple called num. Now sum, for those who don't know, is basically just going to add all of the elements inside of the tuple or a list. That means these values right here. Let me then go ahead and print the value of sum by putting it into the parentheses and when I run it, you will see the output is the addition of all of these values which is 100. I now have the flexibility to either add a particular argument without making changes to my code. I can have as many arguments as I want or no arguments at all. Everything is going to work perfectly fine. Now that we have learned what is packing, let us also look at what is unpacking. To explain this, let me open up a simple example which we have looked earlier. It is the same function. Let me uncomment this. So here I have a function called add numbers which accepts two parameters num1, num2 and I'm passing two arguments which is 10 and 20. But what if I never had two individual elements but a list or a tuple? So let me give you a list. So a list of numbers. And this list had the exact same two arguments passed right here. And now instead of passing the individual um, individual elements of my list, I'm passing the list itself. Now this is not going to work because list is just one element but here I have got two parameters. What I need is I need to pass the individual elements present inside of the list. Now in packing what we did is we added a star to the parameter and this converted individual elements into a tuple. The opposite of this is adding a star to the arguments. This is going to convert a list or a tuple into its individual elements. Therefore, 10 here will be assigned to num1 and 20 will be assigned to num2. Let us just run and see this. As you see it works. Let me also go ahead and print the individual elements here num1 and num2. And as you see num1 is 10 and num2 is 20. This is called as packing and unpacking of a, of a list or a tuple in a function. We can do the exact same thing to a dictionary object as well. We will now look at packing and unpacking in a dictionary object. 
So let me remove this example and add a new one which makes more sense. Let me paste this here and uncomment this. So this is a function called contact list which contains my friends and I'm passing in the phone numbers of my friends. When I run it, you will see the phone numbers of my friends which is 1, 2, 3 and 4, 5, 6. The other way to do this is by passing in the parameter name and giving an equal to sign. So parameter equal to and then the argument. Now in this case, if I had to add more friends, it is going to become pretty difficult. Like I have to add a new parameter. I also have to go and make changes here as well. Example, Jill here is equal to 789. You can avoid all of this just as before by using only one parameter. We'll name this parameter here as friends. And then just as before, you have to give not one but two stars because this is a dictionary object. By doing this, each parameter value will be converted into a key and the value will be assigned to that key. So let me repeat your parameters. Let me give a hash here. So your parameters will be converted into a key. Now this is, you should have a note of this. Let me go ahead and print what friends is. And if you see the output upon execution, you will see Tom here is a key, which initially was a parameter. The value of Tom is one, two, three. Jack here is a key. The value of it is four, five, six. And Jill is a key having the value seven, eight, nine. Now just as a list, unpacking will be doing the complete opposite. Let's say I had a dictionary of friends and this dictionary had the key value pair of all of my friends and their phone numbers. Now let me just go ahead and make changes here as well to the parameters. So I had three parameters for my three friends which is Tom, Jack and Jill. Let me also go ahead and print the values of my three friends here Tom, Jack and Jill. So coming back, I have a dictionary object which has got the names of my friends and their phone numbers. Now I cannot just give the dictionary object has a parameter. Why is that? Because I'm passing in only one argument, but the function has got three parameters. But this dictionary object basically has got three keys, right? Which is Tom, Jack and Jill. And they are equal to the parameter names, which is Tom, Jack and Jill right here. So basically you have to unpack your dictionary object and assign each key to the, uh, to the relevant parameter, which is present inside of your function. To do so, you have to add two stars before your argument. So by doing this, you're basically unpacking your dictionary object. You're then passing in Tom equal to one to three and Tom here, which is your parameter in your function, gets the value of one to three. Now, if I run the particular code, you will see it works. All of the values are exactly same as they are present in your dictionary object. And now we have learned what is packing and unpacking of arguments in a function by using a list, tuple and a dictionary object. If you have any questions in this tutorial, do comment below, I'll help you out. If you like my series on Python, do show your support by liking and sharing this video and subscribing to my channel. Thank you all for watching.